Let her roll, Stan. I wanna hear it again, wanna hear it again. Those old piano rolls and blues. We're sitting at the upright, my baby and me. Pushing out of pedals, making sweet harmonies. When I hear inkity tink, plinkity plink, we cuddle closer, it seems. And as we kiss, 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 away all our cares. Play your pianos, playing razzmatazz. Play it again, I want to hear it again. Those old piano rolls. You know, those old player pianos I'm singing about were very popular back in the 1920s because no one had to learn how to play the piano for themselves. It was all automatic. All you did was to take a paper roll and put it in the slot, adjust a few levers, start pumping on some pedals, and this kind of sound used to come out, remember? <laughs> Then, of course, there was the Nickelodeon-type piano. This was even easier because with this, you didn't even have to use the pedals. All you did was put a nickel in a slot, and you heard something like this. That very often happens. So when it did, you put another nickel in, and the piano went completely mad. wild nickels in those days, let's face it. Of course, there still are a few places where you can hear the authentic piano roll blues. Down New Orleans way, particularly, they have the old honky-tonk pianos down there. And in order to get that old-fashioned sound, what you do is to take some combs and just put them across the strings of the piano. I wouldn't do this to your own piano. You'll ruin the heck out of it, but we have lots of pianos around here, so we don't care. And when you hear the piano roll blues down New Orleans way, it usually sounds something like this. Let me hear it again. 